So one of the first things you do at GCSE might be looking at energy stores and transfers. These are the eight main ways that energy can be stored and it can be transferred between stores either by heating, electrical radiation, which is including things like loud and light and sound, as well as all sorts of electromagnetic waves and mechanical as well. Mechanical is often the most common type of energy transfer. So if we think about uh, something being thrown in the air, as the gravitational potential store increases as it gets higher, this is because the kinetic energy store decreases. It starts out quickly, it slows down, and as it slows down, because the velocity decreases, so does its kinetic energy. And assuming that there's no energy losses, because energy can't be created or destroyed, all of the 68 joules of kinetic energy are transferred to 68 joules of gravitational potential energy at the end of that first part of the process. We've then got a few other things. Now this is just being really brief, but if you stretch something back, if you've got a material which is stretched, there's going to be the elastic potential store, the nuclear store inside an atom, the magnetic store between magnets, and if you've got a hot, hot dog, like this one over here, then there's not only the chemical store of the food, but the fact it's hotter than the surroundings means there's energy in the thermal store. Now for these ones down here, um, what I did was I put my stores in boxes and then I did an arrow to show the transfer to show that the sun heating up the earth, there's basically this nuclear store inside the sun, inside the, um, the small things like hydrogen which fuse together to make helium and then it's radiated by light and other electromagnetic waves including infrared to get to the increase the thermal store of the earth. Um, kinetic uh, energy stored in the travelling bullet bullet, because there's a force acting over a distance, ultimately this increased the thermal energy of the target. And the burger being cooked on a charcoal barbecue, we've not only got the chemical store here, um, which is of the charcoal, but as this is burnt, that chemical store, uh, by heating mainly, um, causes the thermal store of that burger to increase. It's going to be mainly heating, maybe a bit of radiation as well with infrared. And then this next one over here shows that actually in real life, um, depending where you start and end, there might be several different stores. And I described for the car, for example, that because it's a petrol car, we've got the chemical energy stored in the petrol. Um, this is then due to combustion. And then there's going to be a force. When, it, um, when it's burnt, there's going to be a force acting over a distance, which causes the pistons in the engine to move. Then the engine starts rotating. And this is then transferred mechanically, again using forces, um, increasing the kinetic store of the moving car. We then have um, an elastic band being stretched, and I went from the chemical energy in the person to the elastic potential energy stored in the band. And then as soon as it starts going vertically, the kinetic energy store that it has, that then decreases as it gets higher and higher and its gravitational potential store increases. And then finally, we've got a pole vaulter, so they've got chemical energy inside them. Their muscles are doing work, they're increasing their speeds when they're running. And then, then eventually, the, the, the pole that they're holding, that bends, it stores a load of elastic potential energy, which is then transferred, again, by a force um, into the increased gravitational potential energy of the athlete as they go over the pole. So, this one over here, it can get a bit confusing, but I just thought I'll keep it simple. I'll put my stores in boxes and my transfers with arrows to show some of the energy stores and transfers for the processes involved on that first worksheet.